Ty Moby the OC and Cameron. We are back to the channel with another one. Today we have a week 17 Supreme Nupties unboxing. I told you guys we had a big, big unboxing for week 17. We're late. I know that. You don't gotta tell me. We're late because it was the week right before Christmas. I ordered the Nupties jacket. They didn't ship mine. Usually when I order Supreme, I get it in like four, three to four days. Bro, it took like the whole week and I was like, all right, something's up. They took the money out. So I was like, what happened? So I emailed them and they was like, oh no, nah, we're gonna ship it out right now. That's the hidden key. Every time you guys don't get your stuff shipped out and it's been like a weird kind of days, email them. As soon as you email them, miraculously it shipped the next day or that same day. Same thing happened here. As soon as I emailed them, they were like, oh, we're gonna ship it out soon. Sorry about that. Not even an hour later, I get the notification that it was being shipped out. We got it, and then I wanted to unbox it with you guys, but I had the chacarones. I told you guys, I was like, ah, oh, I really got sick when I got my package, and it was at my mother's house. So I had to wait, it was like a whole thing. Long story short, we're late, we're late, we're late. Week 17, we're already at week, it would have been week 20, but nothing came out this week. I think next week we're gonna see everything go on sale before the season switches. So, with no further ado, let's get straight into this, and I wanna, I'm dying to see this jacket. And I hope I got some cool stickers, like come on, bro. And it's like 19 degrees today in the Northeast, no bull. Like 19 degrees, I was just telling my boys today how I have already like, two jackets from Supreme North Face and I'm walking around the streets like I have no jackets. No, this is the best one that I got already. <laughs> it was slept on that day. I should have got two, bro. It was reselling so well. I should have got two and I slacked. Nah, this is a beauty. Oh, Lord. And I didn't get no cool stickers, did I? Oh, yes, I did. Oh, yes, I did. All right. All right. All right. And it was from the t-shirt that I never got. Guys, you guys know my channel well enough by now. I hope you do. We're gonna do the try on. We're gonna do the. We're gonna do the zoom up details, and I'll show you guys all the details of the jacket. But before we do that, I like to look at it, react, take it, review it together, and as we review it, I like to see how it's selling in the aftermarket. So let's do that right now. <laughs> it feels like a pillow. It feels like a comfortable Supreme North Face pillow. Oh my god. Oh. oh, what a beauty. It looked beautiful on pictures and I knew it. I knew this one's one gonna sell. And I knew I should have got the black and the blue. I was saying, get the blue as well, get the black. Whichever one you like least, you can reflip. And then when I saw that they were still there when I got on, because I ordered my black when I was gonna go back in and order the blue one, it was still there and I kinda got I kinda got nervous. Like, damn, it's still there. Like, is it gonna resell well? Every time I double guess myself, it, I always take an L every single time. I should have spent that quick little, what, it would have been like seven something, like 760 around there. Two, actually, it was 390, but they charged me for shipping as well. I think it came out to like 420 or 410. So roughly, I would have been spending like around like 8, 810, 820, but it would have been worth it. Because one of these right now is selling close to $600, and the blue selling even better than the black. And I wanted the black personal, so it would have been perfect. All right, guys, let's bring this back. My dog was throwing off my mojo. That my dog was throwing off my mojo. Look how, look at this beauty, though. Oh, my God. This jacket is beautiful, 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 and I knew it. I should have bought both. That's what I keep thinking as I look at this beauty in my hand. I should have bought both. I wanted the black for myself. I wanted the blue to flip, but now, since I only bought one, now I'm kind of stuck. Like, ah, uh, do I flip? I don't even know what to do. But guys, this is the Supreme, Supreme the North Face Bleach Denim Print Nupties Jacket. Oh my God. This is so fire. All right, let's go down. If you guys remember from the first time we unboxed the Nupties together, I told you guys, my favorite part of the Supreme jackets is the two patches on the right arm. They always do the Supreme box logo, and then they do the North Face patch as well. Oh my God, this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part of the entire jacket. What a beauty. Also, when we get down to the bottom of the wrist, it has Velcro straps to tighten it around your wrist, depending on your size. We should also go over the size of the jacket. The size of the jacket is a size large. We're gonna try it on. I'm 6'2", about 175 pounds. I'm gonna try it on, so if you're around my height, you'll see how that, that fits. But this is a beauty, and it's reselling very well, so we'll go through that. Right over the chest, we see the Supreme. Right over the chest, we see the North Face embroidery right on it, and white stitching. The patch. North Face hand tag. Shows you how to use the stow pocket. I had a lot of people comment on the last one. I was like, ooh, what's this? This is Supreme. 
Is a supreme thing inside the jacket? Everybody's like, bro, it's the stow pocket. So we'll, we'll do it. Turn pocket inside out, stuff items into it, into its own pocket. I'll show you guys the stow pocket inside. Left sleeve on the bottom, we see the 700 stitched on it for the model number for the jacket. Oh, what a beauty. Also, we see the red. I love how they did it in red. I would have thought they would have done it in black, but we see the red Supreme hang tag right on the left side of the jacket. Also has the el elastic cord going around the bottom of the jacket with the, little, with the little pulley tab right here. You can pull that to shrink it down around your waist. And if it's a girl buying it, that's more of their style as well. Or if it's a super, super cold day, you don't want that cold air flying up. Pull that real tight around your waist. And guys, the print this week was super unique as well with this beautiful denim bleached print. I love it. Last year we saw the, no, that was spring. That was this year as well, the other one we bought, which was, we bought both nub tees this year that Supreme dropped. Spring was the studs. Remember, we did the red stud jacket. And then this denim, this denim though is more of my style. This one right here is a beauty. We also see two zip pockets right on the front, right here. Super deep, super deep pockets. Guys, if you ever wore a North Face, you know how great North Face material is and you know how well this will protect you. And the dope part about it is the pockets have that covering right over it. So you don't see that, so you don't see the hang. So you don't see the zipper all poked out and exposed. They actually have that right over it covering it. That's dope. And it covers your hands when you stick your hands inside and while you're walking. Once again, super deep pockets. I have a pockets go all the way down to the zipper in the middle of the chest. All right, now let's go over the hood. It has a hood right over it with a little brim as well. That brim will be super smooth if you're walking and it's raining or it's snowing. You see it? I don't know if you can see it even better from the side. It has like a little brim on it. You see it? Little cap. Something we'll zoom in and I'll show you better at the end. But you wanna know it's super fire. And if you just want it for like a photo shoot, the back. The back has Supreme going over the hood in 3M. Super fire, so remember, that's 3M. You take a picture of that, it's gonna reflect that super dope. Velcro right in the back of the hood. Velcro right in the back of the collar. The reason that the Velcro is there is because you can roll this up. Let's say it's a day you don't want this exposed. You can roll the hood up. Also, we should say real quick, the hood has elastic on it as well, an elastic cord. So you pull on this, you can tighten the hood. But let's say it's a day you don't want it to be exposed. You roll it up, roll it up, like I'm about to be doing after this video. And then you stuff it. You stuff it, and then you can see the collar comes off a little bit, and the collar has Velcro. So you just connect that right to that piece that's exposed. And then boom. Now you no longer have a hood on it. And I like this look more as well. Like when I'm wearing North Face jackets, I like it like this. Better, it looks a lot doper without the hood. But it's also dope to have a hood, because if you don't care about looking fly when it's snowing or raining. Nice to have that hood inside. Now let's look at the back of it. On the back, we see the opposite, right on your right side of your back shoulder. Remember, the front got the, the logo stitched right on the left side in white. We have it on the back on your right shoulder, stitched embroidered in white. That's the only embroidery we see, and you can just really see a good look at the actual print. Again, I'm, in, I'm, obsessed, with the, I'm obsessed with the bleach, and I should have bought more that week. I'm so mad. I should have bought more that week. Let's get inside the jacket. Before we try it on. Guys, if you're looking to buy this on like OfferUp or you're looking to buy this on the internet, I go over all the tags. So I show you guys all the tags. You can look through all my other unboxings as well. The reason that's so good is because I buy from Supreme. I buy usually from the retailer wherever we're going. I even tell you guys, hey, this one's not from Supreme. I bought this on Go. I bought this on StockX. Just so you can know and you know what to look for. Again, there's a lot of shady, shady people selling shady things online. I'm always super paranoid, so I'm here to help you guys out. So always make sure that what you buy online ma matches my tags. This, once again, is from Supreme. We got this straight from the retailer, week 17. We have the Red Supreme box logo in the bottom. That looks super, super fire. I wish they would have had the Red Supreme box logo on the arm. Had these two in the arm and had the black inside, I would have took the black inside and put the reds outside. That would have been a lot better. But we got the red We got the red box logos stitched in the bottom, and then we have the North Face call-out stitched right on top with men's homes made in China. Size large. On the top, we see a little, like, we see an extra piece of material. I believe this is to, like, you know, hook your jacket up and hang it up. And it says, never stop exploring going right across it. Let's see if there's any tags inside. Yes, there is. On the left side of the jacket, the jacket we have the serial number to the jacket, and then we have the we have a reflective hang tag right in the bottom for the inside. That's the North Face. I'll show you guys that better at the end, but just make sure yours has that. Also, little tags on top that tell you how to wash the jacket. 
On this side, we have another tag from the North Face. Talks about what? Sterilization. Down sterilization permit, it shows the number, and then it shows the DL and the RDS number for the jacket. So you'll have that one on the right side of the jacket. The stow pocket, let me show you guys, is always inside on the left side. It's always right over here. This is actually a huge pocket. And then boom, look at the stove pocket right here, as you can see. See the stove pocket right there? Had this a red Supreme once again, embroidered right on top of it. We see this a red Supreme box logo. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. Like it's so simple, but yeah, I'm obsessed with it. And then this is how we do it. Alright guys, and this is how it looks when you tuck it inside after a whole minute of me stuffing the jacket, but it turns to a little pillow. This is the stove pocket. I felt bad for you guys after the first video. I had to make up for that because I showed you guys like, oh, that's fine. Look at this little hanging thing. I didn't take time. I didn't even remember that that was the stove pocket. So I wanted to show you guys that feature. This is a great way to store it if you're trying to store it inside your closet for over like, you know, when it's summertime and stuff, you know, you're not going to wear the jacket. Perfect way to put it. And it's even fire. Like if you're a risky kind of dude and you don't think it'll rip, bro, this is fire for like a pillow or some shit too. But this is how it looks when you're storing it. So super dope way. And you can even push it more as you can see there was like space down here i did it super quick it took me about like i would say like 60 seconds a minute but that's how it looks and the little tag hangs out the top the tag we were looking inside see stuck and then it says the opposite when you put it inside out oh no this is not even the inside this is another tag i believe oh no i think it, is it yeah it's a different tag stow the north face that's fire guys look at that stow the north face for the stow pocket <laughs> But I love the red Supreme logo right in the front. Beautiful beauty. We didn't do the dime, we didn't do the metal stud jacket, so I had to make up for you guys. But this is how it looks. The other jacket does the exact same feature as the other jacket, the same jacket as this one, just in another size and another color. So let's see how this jacket is reselling as well before we try it on. So the size that I have is a size large. The size large is selling right now for $519, highest bid $490, and then last sale $495. Again, retail for it was $398. It came out December 16th, 2021, fall winter 21. The jacket released in two colors. It released in blue and in black. This is the black one here, and then it also released in the blue. I thought the blue was beautiful. I was taking so long all week to make up my mind on which one I wanted. I ended up liking the black one more. Even though I knew the blue was getting a lot more hype online, the blue is actually selling better. Let's go over the blue as well. The blue, the actual name, the actual color, is indigo that's the color that it released in size large is selling at 445 lowest i mean yeah lowest ask for uh 545 highest bid 525 last sale 553 in a size large it's selling great damn I should, and I, should, I was gonna buy the blue to resell it's so crazy it's so crazy i'm so mad that i every time that i double guess myself like yo why didn't this sell out and it's always something i like a lot i'm like nah you should buy it bro you always got the sauce and i always got the picks i told you guys that with the easy boots the easy boots sat there for mad long and I kept saying Yo, I'm gonna buy all the colors salt and rock oil I have rock just to reflip never did it never did it they end up selling out and they flipped like triple the price Yeezy slides the first time I was like yo they still here this is crazy when the three came out the bone the core and the resin the first first time they released I got the resin I got like three pairs of those the bones were the ones that people were going crazy for. The other ones sat there for like three weeks and then they reflipped for like 200 a pair, 300 a pair. <sighs> Every time I double guess myself. But yes, the indigo was beautiful as well. <clears throat> I'm mad. Uh, guys, let's try this jacket on. But before we do that, let's go over the stickers. I didn't go over the stickers. So we got two regular Supreme Box logos. But if you guys remember the, the winter tees that came out, there was a Supreme Don't Look Under the Bed or something like that. Or Bad Tee. I think it was actually called Bad Tee, I believe. And it had this print right on the center of the shirt. 
And the shirt came out in multiple colors, from like rust to white to black to light blue. It came out in a couple of different colors. You should look that shirt up. It was actually my favorite winter tee. I didn't buy it because I wasn't in love with the winter tees, but that was the best out of the picks. Last thing before we get out of here, I forgot to check. What size are selling the best? I always like telling you guys. The indigo color, XL selling the best. XL's just sold right now for $565. Lowest axe, $579. Highest bid, $562. So the XL selling the best for indigo by far. Let's see the black that I have. Yeah. XL as well. Small's actually selling the least in all in all three colors. It's selling for for this one, it's selling for $4.93 lowest ass. Large, large is probably selling the second worst, no bull. So best best sales for this one is XL. XL on the black is actually selling really good. $565 lowest ass. But the highest bid right now is $552. Last sale, $552 as well in the black extra large. That one's selling really good. And what's sick is that the medium is selling well as well. And the medium sat. I remember I saw the medium when I kept checking. I kept looking to see when it was going to sell out, when it was going to sell out. Medium was still there for blue, and medium was still there for black for a while. For a while. Last sale on medium was 505. Alright guys, let's try this jacket on. After we try this jacket on, you guys know what we do. The zoom up details. I'll show you guys all, like the print. I'll show you guys the tags and everything looked up, zoomed up close. In case you're buying it, in case you're looking to resell, in case you're going to buy one on the internet, make sure it's legit. Make sure all the tags match my jacket. Let's go try this on, and then we'll go on to the next. <sighs> my god i don't know if it's because i'm wearing this with my heat at 75 degrees but i am burning up burning up oh you can't sing that shit you can't hold up freeze frame can't sing that shit hold on <laughs> i gotta take that out the video you can't sing that yo hold up this jacket though this jacket is out of here this jacket is crazy bro fire 700 i'm feeling like 700 degrees in this right now oh my god Oh my god, this is the shit you gotta wear. You gotta keep your jacket on in the club. Sir, you wanna put your jacket in cold check? Hell no. Do you see what I got on, shorty? You see what I, get the, f get, get away from my jacket. No, I don't wanna wear this shit. I'm wearing this in the club. This is when you just have to wear a fly tee in the bottom. Keep your shit on, but keep it zipped. Keep it unzipped, you get me? But this jacket is out of here, no bull. This jacket is out of here. Super comfortable. I love this model of jacket. It's why every time Supreme drops it, I try to grab it. I'm gonna keep trying to grab it every single time because I know the jacket's a great investment. I, it's a great jacket, you get me? Supreme, it's a North Face collab. If it don't sell today, it don't sell tomorrow, it don't sell in three years, it's gonna sell in like five or six. And if it doesn't sell then, or I can't wait that long, you know what's crazy? I'm gonna wear it. I love these Supreme jackets. I love these North Face Nub Tees jackets. They fit great they're so comfortable so lightweight but you can feel the feather count on them that you know you're gonna stay warm and you're getting a bang for your buck a jacket like this from montclair is costing you 800 to a thousand dollars i'll say seven to a thousand dollars that's the whole point you're gonna be out here looking like a shiny bag of aluminum foil that's the whole thing so you're paying 800 900 to be out here looking like panic at the disco you get me that's what i'm saying you out here looking like confetti you out here looking like wrapping gift paper that's what montclair is dropping i'm not saying nothing bad i like montclair jackets i like those patches too like i told you I like these patches but what I'm saying is for $398 these jackets are a steal every single drop I'm gonna keep buying them I'm gonna keep I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a stole closet. It's gonna be just mad North Face, just stacked up like little, little, little women purses, just stacked up and waiting there, just collecting money. That's what I'm gonna do because I know these jackets will always go up in value, and if not, I can always get my money back and just sell it at retail. The thing that the thing when these jackets are bust, they just stay at retail price. So at the end of the day, if I don't like the jacket or I like the jacket, and I, you know it's not selling, it's not selling what I thought. I'm gonna get my money back. At worst comes to at worst, I'm gonna get my money back. So guys, this is the size large. Last time we bought a size medium because i wanted to see how a size medium would fit and stuff i was like let me try that out and i thought the medium would sell better i ended up finding out that the size large and xl which regular supreme those sizes sell better so i don't know what i was thinking but i bought a medium this time i wanted to buy a large to see compare the compare the fits and see how they which one fits better you guys can comment comment in the thing which one you guys like more do you like more the medium size that i wore and the other nup tees jacket which was a studded nup tees or do you like the size large more size large i feel like huh yeah, I feel like they, they both fit really well because they're so, they're like an oversized jacket, so they both fit really well. This one, what I can tell the difference is that I got more space on the arm. So as you can see, the arms are more crunched up a little bit, a little bit more baggy. Now, if you guys like that look, you want a bigger feel, you want a little more space, you don't you like it a little more crunched up, a little wrinkly on your arm, then the size large is the one to go with. Size medium still fit me well. The only thing I can notice was that the size medium, the arms just didn't look this crunched up, you got me on me. 
the side the arms looked a little bit more straight but this is how a size large fits once again I'm 175 pounds 62 basically 63 but I'm like two inches short <laughs> I'm um, 74 inches of that even, even more in detail, 74 inches. This is how a size large fits. Guys, if you want to know how a medium fits on me, go check my studded Nupties jacket in case you're not sure. Like, should I get a medium? Should I get a large? Compare both videos. Just see how they fit on me and see what you think about it. This is the front. This is the back. And guys, don't forget, remember I told you there's a hood under here. I put the hood away in the collar because I like this look more. This is the look I like more. There's also a tab on the side, don't forget, right over the Supreme hang tag where you can tighten the jacket. So right here, you can tighten it. If you want a more comfortable, tighter fit, pull the elastic cord, you get a more comfortable, tighter fit on the side. As you can see, I actually pulled it a lot. So if you like this look more, you can do that as well. Also, if it's snowing or raining, remember, we put the hood away in the Velcro. Pull on that Velcro and unfold your hood now. Now, you have a hood. And it's actually a pretty big hood because it still fits in a mad space. But you guys can see, in the back, we see the Supreme going down. Guys, the Supreme, again, I keep telling you guys it's 3M. I didn't Google that, but I'm 90% sure it's 3M. And 90% sure the Supreme in the back is 3M. Also, we have two cords on the top. You want to pull these to make them tighter, you get me? You can pull that, make your hood tighter. But it also has the brim, so let's say you're not wearing a hat. Let's say you're not wearing a hat and it starts raining. Oh my God, I don't want all this rain in my face. You can make it tighter, pull this. I don't feel like doing all that right now, but you can make it tighter. And you still have this brim to keep everything falling down from your face. This jacket is out of here, bro. This jacket is super tough. Guys, I already told you the reselling prices. You guys already tried it on with me. You see how it fits. I'm gonna now do the zoom up details, show you guys all the artwork on it, real, real close, zoomed up. I'll show you all the tags. I go throughout the jacket in case you wanna buy one yourself. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're always doing fire unboxing and doing things like this. Let me tell you, we got some fire, fire, fire tees coming up. I'm doing some fire unboxing for tees. And it's summertime is about to come. Well, not even summertime. Spring's about to come. Yeah, it's cold and everything. Spring's, are, spring's already around the corner. February's a short month. As soon as we look, we're already back in March. So get your tea game up. There's some fire teas that we're about to unbox in this channel. So stay tuned. If you want to see them, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like this video down below. Did you buy anything from Supreme Week 17? And if you did buy a Supreme North Face, which one did you decide? Did you like black? Did you like indigo? Did you like black? Did you like indigo? Which one was to your preference? I liked both. You really, to me, if you did black, you did blue, you went, you, you didn't go wrong in any way. I think it's a beauty. One last spin, one last spin. Oh, this is my favorite part. I tell you guys every single time. I can, I can look at this forever. But guys, let's do the zoom up detail. Like I said, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video. And like we love to say, to the next one, we out of here. Watching this Eagles game right now with the Cowboys, bro. They're getting spanked. How is my parlay already going to be done on Saturday? I put the Eagles in my parlay, and I put the Chiefs. And I knew that I was kind of ballsy. Put it, and I didn't even take money line. I mean, I, I didn't even take the spread. I took money line because I felt ballsy. I was like, nah, they're going to win, bro. And that's what Governor Mitt... Nah, I don't even want to talk about that. But my parlay's done Saturday. We out of here. What the fuck is this?